My dad had a quadruple bypass and my grandfather passed away of a heart attack at age 56. I've had a bypass and a pacemaker implant too. I just found out that heart disease kills more women than breast cancer. Hello, I'm Peter Harvey. Thank you for your interest in the cutting-edge research carried out at the Heart Research Institute. The worldwide obesity epidemic garners plenty of headlines, but the main disease it's causing, atherosclerosis, still doesn't seem to rate the publicity it deserves. Heart disease is the leading cause of death right around the world, and atherosclerosis, the thickening of artery walls as the result of a build-up of fatty materials like cholesterol, is the greatest cause of heart disease. Approximately 3.4 million Australians suffer from heart disease, with one person dying as a result every 10 minutes. That's around 50,000 deaths each year in Australia alone. Another 12,000 suffer strokes, while heart disease sends a further 400,000 Australians to hospital every year. It affects one in four men and one in every three women, and approximately 40% of all children under the age of 15 are now also showing early signs of heart disease. These are frightening statistics, but thanks to its supporters, the Heart Research Institute is constantly making new discoveries that will reduce and even reverse these figures over time. I'd like to make sure that our current supporters and anyone who's considering supporting the Heart Research Institute really understands the daunting task of trying to fight heart disease which still carries away far too many young Australians and people all around the world. In fact, heart disease is set to be the number one killer worldwide. We always need to buy equipment. Some are small pieces of equipment or reagents that cost as little as $100 and make a valuable contribution. And some are extraordinarily sophisticated pieces of equipment that can cost $200,000 or even a quarter of a million dollars but every contribution helps because it's by adding the little bits up and combining them with the major pieces of equipment that really allows the researchers to do the research to make the breakthroughs that will save the lives. I'm currently working in the clinical and lipid research groups here at the Heart Research Institute. I'm looking at the effects of prednisone, a steroid drug, and its effects on high density lipoproteins, which is the good cholesterol as opposed to the bad cholesterol in patients suffering with pulmonary inflammation. So I'm part of the immunobiology group at the HRI. Under certain diseases where inflammation occurs, you get um, excessive growth and where you don't want it, for example, in tumours and cardiovascular disease. Um, I'm looking at the effect of high density lipoprotein to see whether or not this um, HDL can actually inhibit this inflammation induced growth. There are nine different groups here at the Heart Research Institute and between them they cover almost every facet of heart disease. For example, there's one group that study the earliest origins of heart disease in children and young adults at high risk. One fascinating example of the work we're doing is how to prepare stents and bypass grafts with a new synthetic protein that might make them more effective. So the two major ways we treat heart disease when it's advanced stenting and bypass grafting, if that research is successful, it could revolutionise the way we treat heart disease worldwide. As you can see, vital research doesn't come cheap, but every contribution, small or large, is vitally important to the work of the Heart Research Institute, and we're grateful for every contribution that we get. Uh, I became involved with the Heart Research Institute approximately 18 months ago after my partner Dan passed away uh, at the age of 26 from heart disease and through that we formed a group called the Pacemakers with approximately 30 of Dan's close friends and colleagues who actively participate in fun runs and marathons as a way to raise much needed awareness and funds for the Heart Research Institute. One in three people are going to be affected by this disease, it's, it's number one a killer in Australia so why not get involved now? Why not help with funding or participate at institutes like this? So hopefully in the future we can prevent another tragic loss like dance. It was Christmas Eve and my father got up to go and get the paper and he had a massive heart attack on the lounge room floor. We all rushed out. My brother was in the surf club. He tried to revive him but couldn't. 
and that devastated our family, but that was in the 70s. So things have come a long way, um, but Christmas was never the same for us. My father had a heart attack, his first heart attack at 55, um, and we were the lucky ones really because at that stage there had been a bit of research done. He was able to have two triple bypasses and some stents and um, that prolonged his life for another 25 years. I mean we had him with us for 25 years and it was, it was priceless, just priceless. Everyday people like you are helping the Heart Research Institute to fight the epidemic of heart disease that's attacking the entire world. While we're well aware of the importance of leading a healthy life, a good diet, plenty of exercise, kicking bad habits like smoking, it'll be the successes of the incredibly talented medical scientists at the Heart Research Institute that will eventually bring the greatest victories. We'll be able to detect the symptoms of heart disease earlier, find new ways to treat and even reverse atherosclerosis and prevent it from developing. So please, give or continue to give generously and let your friends and family know about the amazing work their support can make possible. In the end, none of us want to live our lives without our loved ones. By supporting the Heart Research Institute, you're not only preventing both physical and emotional suffering, you're saving lives. Thank you.